Their current uniforms looking different. These Hialeah cops are now Miami-Dade inmates. It's a sad and disappointing day when any officer betrays a badge. Rafael Otano and Lorenzo Orfila are locked up. There's surveillance video. For what they're accused of doing here, December 17th. Armed kidnapping. Strip mall surveillance video shows the policeman taking a homeless man into custody after a disturbance at the West 60th Street location. He was outside here and he opened the door. The police were waiting outside and they simply took him. Strip mall surveillance video shows the policeman taking a homeless man into custody after a disturbance at the West 60th Street location. But instead of doing what cops are supposed to do, which is take him to jail. He was taken to an isolated and dark location against his will. While handcuffed, he was allegedly beaten and thrown to the ground by the officers. He lost consciousness during the incident and ultimately he woke up alone, unhandcuffed and bleeding from the head. Here's how Jose Ortega Gutierrez looked afterwards. When I saw him later at night, he had injuries already. State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle and the Hialeah PD say the alleged bad cops kidnapped and battered the victim and then arranged for their criminal behavior to be covered up with the help of this guy. You were arrested for one count of witness tampering, which is a life felony. Private investigator Ali Amin Saleh, who's accused of later paying the beat up Gutierrez to sign an affidavit filled with lies about the cops making an arrest, which the state says never happened. That the purpose of the money was to buy his cooperation in exchange for withholding his testimony against Officer Ophila and Officer Otana and having the case dismissed. He's being charged based upon the false allegations of a career criminal who gets arrested every other day and is in jail right now and has a horrendous history of a never-ending uh, reign of, of crime.